welcome everyone today we are moving into the critical components of the cat exam um they are nothing but called as a reading comprehension and verbal ability we as many of you know these sections are crucial for securing a high percentile in the exam our goal today is to explore effective strategies for tackling arts passages and va questions enhancing both our understanding and efficiency well why focus on rc and va well if you talk about that reading comprehension or rc rc passages test uh, one's ability to quickly read comprehend and analyze information they evaluate you our critical thinking and ability to draw inferences mastering rc can significantly boost our overall score at the same time if you talk about verbal ability va this section tests our grasp of the english language including grammar vocabulary and sentence structure va questions often require quick thinking and a solid understanding of language nuances so uh in today's discussion agenda would be what we will meet with uh, some passages and on the basis of the passages we find out um uh, some questions and uh, on the basis of those questions we also meet some of the choices and we need to find out which choices the more or the most appropriate isn't it so here you can find out there is a one of the reading comprehension passages and the direction for this passages is what uh, answer the following questions based on the information given below well at first we will go for the uh, text and we will try to know about the text what this text is all about and then after we will move towards the question uh, and we need to solve the questions answer right after reading the choices um so let's look at the text what does the text say it is stated consider sis pass eternally doomed to roll a boulder uphill only to witness its inevitable descent this evocative image captured by albert camus embodies the crux of absurdist philosophy the inherent meaninglessness of existence in a universe devoid of inherent purpose uh the di this dissonance between the human desiring for significance and the cold indifference of reality becomes a fertile ground for absurdist theater which became the narrative of contemporary plays in theaters post world war 2 era playwrights like samuel beckett and eugen yuns yunsko revel in the absurdist of the human condition take backwards waiting for godot Vladimir and Estragon the protagonist engage in repetitive nuns nonsensical dialogue while endlessly waiting for a god who never arrives the play thrives on the characters futile attempts to find meaning clinging to the hope of god's arrival as a symbol of order and purpose however the audience is left with a gnawing suspicion god it may may not exist this highlights the characters and perhaps humanity predicament searching for meaning in a fundamentally meaningless existence the paradox of choice explored by thinkers like jean paul sartre further accentuates this absurdist situation in a world without inherent meaning humans are burden with what with the absolute freedom to choose their own path this freedom however can be paralyzing with no uh, preordained purpose individuals are constantly confronted with the weight of their you know, choices the characters in yuns goes the chairs exemplifies this an old couple endlessly arranges chairs for an audience that never materializes their frantic activity devoid of any real purpose becomes a desperate attempt to fill the void of meaninglessness with meaningless action yet in the midst of the bleakness absurdist theater or uh, offers a glimmer of defiance by embracing the absurdity of existence some argue we achieve some argue 
we achieve a form of liberation. We are freed from social expectations and the burden of seeking meaning from an external source. In Rinserers or Rhinoceros, Yunsko portrays the gradual transformation of a town's inhabitants into rhinoceros. As the play progresses, the protagonist um, Beringer remains stubbornly, stubbornly human, refusing to succumb to the mindless conformity. His defiance, though seemingly futile, becomes a powerful act of asserting his individuality in a world devoid of inherent meaning. Similarly, the Seemingly pointless actions of Vladimir and Estragon can be interpreted as a form of rebellion. By continuing in their virtue, a vessel, they defy the absurdity of their situation. They create their own meaning through companionship and the act of waiting itself, even if Goddard never arrives. Absurdist theatre doesn't offer easy answers. It confronts us with the uncomfortable truth of our existence in an indifferent universe. However, by acknowledging the absurdity, it compels us to forge our own meaning, find solace in human connection, and embrace the freedom to carve our own paths in a world devoid of inherent purpose. The human condition in the absurdist view may be inherently meaningless, but it is within this very meaningless that, meaningless that we discover the power to create our own significance. As we have read the text, what we understand from the passage, the passage explodes the concept of what absurdist, absurdist, absurdist philosophy, isn't it? So, which highlights the inherent meaningless of existence in a universe lacking, you can say that uh, intrinsic, intrinsic, intrinsic uh, purpose, intrinsic purpose. This philosophy, articulated by uh, Albert Camus through the metaphor of Sisyphus, finds its expression in absurdist theater, uh, possibly in the works of uh, playwrights like Samuel Back uh, Beckett, Samuel, uh, Beckett and Eugene Ionsko. Beckett's uh, Waiting for Goddard and Ionsko's The Chair illustrate the absurdity of the human condition where characters engage in what? engage in futile action and conversation, reflecting humanity's struggle to find meaning in a meaningless world. Meaning in a meaningless world. Isn't it? So, despite the bleakness, absurdity theater suggests a form of liberation by holding the absurdity of existence, encouraging individuals to create their own meaning and declare their individuality, as seen in Alan Scott's Rhinoceros. The passage uh, finally or concludes what the passage concludes that absurdist, absurdist, absurdist theater, absurdist theater does not provide easy answers but uh, request individual to find solace in human connection and embrace the freedom to carve their paths in a purposeless universe. Isn't it? That's what is nothing but the idea of this total text. So, uh, we can consider that it's a kind of a text which is taken from the literature section. So, and if we talk about the main idea of the text, so the main idea of the passage is the exploration of absurdist philosophy. Exploration, exploration of uh, absurdist uh, philosophy and theater, which emphasize the inherent meaningless of existence and the struggle for individuals to find purpose in an indifferent universe. Despite this bleak outlook, absurdist theater suggests that holding absurdity can lead to liberation. Can lead to what? That's called as a liberation, liberation, uh, and the creation of personal meaning. If you talk about the tone of the text, so the tone of the passages, uh, you can say that analytical, analytical, and uh, you can say that. Um, Contemplative, it thoughtfully examines the themes of absurdist philosophy and uh, uh, theater, providing insights into the existential challenges faced by individual and the potential for personal liberation. So that's what you, we can find out. Even uh, if you talk about the style of the passes, you can say that it is uh, uh, descriptive, Descriptive and interpretive with the reference to specific works and uh, you can say that the playwrights, uh, 
playwrights to illustrate the principles of absurdity philosophy. It uses literary analysis to explore complex philosophical ideas and their representation in theater, engaging the reader with vivid examples and thought-provoking interpretation. I hope you understood the uh, explanation of the text and uh, main idea beside that tone and style of the text. Now let's move to the question. The question asked which of the following captures the nuanced perspective of absurdist, absurdist theater on human conditions the best. Now, uh, if you look at the option one, what does it say? It explodes life's inherent meaningless. Now, this one is not correct. While absurdist theater acknowledges the meaningless of existence, it is too vague to capture the nuanced perspective because in the option, the word inherent can be perceived. Uh, you can say that uh, uh, perceived uh, um, um, differently by different receiver, isn't it? So uh, in that case, you can find a point out option one is not the correct one. Now, option two, which said that it is suggest, right? It suggests creating personal meaning by registering a harsh universe. Now, option two is also incorrect because uh, if you talk about that, the word called as a resistance, uh, so defiance, you can say that is a theme, right? Defiance is a theme, but the passage does not emphasize constructing personal meaning as a clear framework, right? Personal meaning as a clear framework. So hence, you can consider option two is also incorrect. Three, it reflects the futility of finding meaning in a purposeless universe without offering clear answers. Now, this option is correct uh, as it captures the core tension, acknowledging the futility of searching for meaning in a meaningless universe and the lack of, uh, you can say that, uh, clear answers. So this is, you can say that, uh, central idea. This is nothing but called as the central idea of absurdist theater, absurdist theater, isn't it? So in that case, we consider option three would be correct. But let's look at the option four. It said it criticizes societal norms and advocates for a more instinctual, natural way of living. So option four uh, can be considered incorrect it, as it deviates from the uh, you can say that to core concept. It deviates from the core concept. The passage does not critically uh, criticize a specific societal expectation, nor does it advocate for a more instinctual nature way of living. So, hence we can consider option three would be the most appropriate answer. So, answer will be option three. I hope you understood this. That's all. Thank you.